Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on November 6, 2022 in Sri Damayapur, India. Pangun Langayate Girim, Yachifata Lahan Mande, Sri Gurum Dina Tarinam, Paranan Lavadam, Sri Chaitanya Mishuram, Hadiyom Tatsayom. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, today we will continue with the compilation of the Sri Krishna Chaitanya book. Today's chapter is entitled. Gopal Chakravarti offends Srila Haridas Thakur and is attacked by leprosy. Part 4. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela 3.212 Bhagavan o Bhakta Arthat Vishnu o Vaishnavar Shabab Jaddapi Haridas Viprer Doshna Leela Tathapi Ishwar Tare Phal Bunjaila. Although Haridas Thakur, as a Vaishnava, did not take seriously the Brahmana's offense, the Supreme Personality of Godhead could not tolerate it. And thus, he made the Brahmana suffer the consequences. Oh, it's very... Important to avoid committing any offense against a Vaishnava. So it's very important to avoid committing any offense against a Vaishnava. Because even if the Vaishnava does not take it seriously, because even if the Vaishnava does not take it seriously, the Supreme Personality Godhead may do so. This, but the Supreme Personality of Godhead may do so. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Adi Kanda 16.307 Jemon Ukta Pashondir Vaishnav Ninda Temonoi Tahar Upojukta Shastilab Ba Upojukta Fall Prapti Horidas Thakure Bolilek Jano Krishna Tahar Shasti Korilen Teno the punishment he had proposed for Haridas Thakur was awarded to himself by Lord Krishna. Purported by his divine grace, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Srila Prabhupada. Although Haridas Thakur did not curse or desire inauspiciousness on that sinful atheist, since that offensive atheist criti criticized and spoke unpalatable, envious words to Haridas Thakur, the Lord awarded such severe punishment on him. But since Gopal Chakravarti had threatened to cut the nose off of Haridas Thakur, since Gopal Chakravarti was trying to cut off the nose of Haridas Thakur, his nose was destroyed. His nose was destroyed. Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela 3.213 Bhakta Shabab Agga Dosh Khama Kare Krishna Shabhab Bhakta Ninda Shohite Na Pare The characteristic of a pure devotee is that he excuses any offense by an ignorant rascal. A characteristic of Krishna, however, is that he cannot tolerate blasphemy of his devotees. Prepared by his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. The characteristic of a Vaishnava and the characteristic of the Lord mentioned in this verse are very significant. 
in his Sikshashtaka, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught the characteristics of a Vaishnava. Trinadapi Suni Chena Taro Riva Sahishnuna Amanina Manadena Kirtaniya Sadaharihi. A Vaishnava strictly follows this principle of being humbler than a grass and more tolerant than a tree, expecting no honor from others but offering honor to everyone. In this way, a Vaishnava is simply interested in chanting about the Supreme Personality of Godhead and glorifying Him. Haridas Thakur epitomized this foremost order of Vaishnavism. Krishna, however, cannot tolerate any insults or blasphemy against a Vaishnava. For example, Prahlad Maharaj was chastised by his father, Hiranyakashipu, in so many ways, but although Prahlada tolerated this, Krishna did not. The Lord therefore came in the form of Nishimadev to kill Hiranyakashipu. Similarly, although Srila Haridas Thakur tolerated the insult of Gopal Chakraborty, Krishna could not. The Lord immediately punished Gopal Chakraborty by making him suffer from leprosy. While instructing Srila Rupa Goswami, about the many restrictive rules and regulations for Vaishnavas, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has very vividly described the effects of offenses at the lotus feet of a Vaishnava. Jodi Vaishnava Aparad Uthe Hati Mata Madhya Leela 19.156 Offending or blaspheming a Vaishnava has been described as the greatest offense and it is compared to a mad elephant. When a mad elephant enters a garden, it ruins all the creepers, flowers and trees. Similarly, if a devotee properly executing his devotional service becomes an offender at the lotus feet of his spiritual master or another Vaishnava, his devotional service is spoiled. One has to be very careful not to offend any Vaishnava. So one has to be very careful not to offend any Vaishnava. Uh, the Lord Chaitanya described this offense as a mad elephant offense. Lord Chaitanya describes this offense as a mad elephant offense. That if a mad elephant enters your garden. That if a mad elephant enters a garden it will ruin and uproot all the trees in the garden. It will ruin and uproot all the trees in the garden. So, one should be very careful not to commit any Vaishnava Aparata. So, one should be very careful not to commit any Vaishnava Aparata. Chaitanya Charitamrita Antya Leela 3.214 Brahma Vandur Lesh Ravane Sthantek O Shantipur Agamon Bipre Kushta Shuni Horidas Mone Duki Hoila Balai Purohite Kohi Shanti Puraila Haridas Thakur was unhappy when he heard that the Brahmana Gopal Chakraborty had been attacked by leprosy. Thus, after informing Balaram Acharya, the priest of Hiranya Majumdar, he went to Shantipur, the home of Advaita Acharya. So, Haridas Thakur, he had no ill feeling. So, Haridas Thakur, he had no ill feeling Gopal towards Gopal Chakravarti. And uh, he was unhappy to hear that he was suffering from leprosy. And he was very unhappy to hear that he was suffering from leprosy. This is the attitude of a Vaishnava. So this is the attitude of a Vaishnava. But Lord Krishna was very angry at Gopal Chakravarti. But Lord Krishna was very angry at Gopal Chakravarti. For the offense at his devotee. For the offense at his devotee. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Adikanda 16.308 Sarvatra 
विष्णु भक्तिहीनता ओ विषय भोग प्रमत्तता दर्शने हरिदासर दुख ओ कारुण्य उद्रेक विषय ते मग्न जगत देखी हरिदास दुखे कृष्ण कृष्ण बोली छाड़े नश्वास I grieve to see the entire world. I grieve to see the world. I grieve to see the world uh, absorbed in material sense gratification. Absorbed in material sense gratification. Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur. Sigh deeply. Sigh deeply. And chanted the name of Krishna Krishna. And chanted the name of Krishna Krishna. Purported by His Divine Grace, Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sharsati Thakur, Shri Prabhupada. At that time, people of the entire world were intoxicated with material knowledge. And being always greedy for material enjoyment, they refrain <coughs> from the cultivation of Krishna consciousness. That is why the Vaishnava Thakur, Thakuras sighed deeply as distress filled their hearts, which were saturated with compassion seeing the pathetic con- condition and misfortune of the fallen souls who were averse to Lord Hari. An elaborate description of the phrase Visha Jate Magna Jagat. Visha Jate Magna Jagat. The entire world was absorbed in sense gratification. This is found in the, in the statement of Virag in the Chaitanya Chandrodaya Nataka as follows. The world is full of materialists. Alas, alas, there is no cleanliness, no truthfulness, no control of the mind and senses, no self-restraint, no peacefulness, no tolerance, no friendship and no mercy. Where, where were my sincere loving friends uprooted by the people of Kali Yuga? Are they now living in seclusion? Could they have found a place in place Kali does not know? No, there is no such place to be found. The Brahmanas are interested only in their sixth duty, accepting charity. A sacred thread is the only sign of their status. The Kshatriyas are Kshatriyas in name only. The Vaishyas are like atheists. The Shudras think themselves great scholars and are eager to become gurus and teach the truth of religion. Alas, alas, Kali has degraded this caste into this. The Brahmanas are situated... No, no, Brahmachari. Sorry, sorry. The Brahmacharis are situated in that ashrama only because they cannot marry. The Grahasthas are interested only in filling their bellies of their wives and children. The Vanaprastas are qualified only by the name Vanaprastha traveling on the path of the years. The sannyasis are different from the others only in their saffron dress. And took and look at these mental speculators from their very birth, they simply discuss words like designation, social class, logical inference, universal principle, and thus remain far away from the talk of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Thinking whoever is most expert at logic is the voices, these logicians think that their speculation is only is the only scripture. Now here are some Mayavadis. They say that the Supreme is only eternity without qualities, without designations, beyond thought, and without actions. And they say, I am Brahman. Alas, alas, hating the personality of God hates form and denying 
the Lord's inconceivable potencies and qualities, they shun love for their supreme persons, obeisances to them from a distance. And here, learned persons debate theories of Kapila, Kanada, Kanada, Patanjali and Jaimini. Not one of them knows the truth of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Now, I am in South India. This place is filled with Jains, Buddhists, naked yogis and ferocious atheists. There are also Shaivites who are almost extinct. I think they will kill me. After walking a little further, he says, Ah, this must be a holy man cheerfully sitting on a, great, on a great rock by the river bank. He seems to be free of anxiety while passing his time meditating on something beyond the modes of nature. Sitting in a yoga posture by the river bank, his eyes closed and exp expertly, sto expertly stopping with the, with the tip of his tongue, the nectar moonlight flowing from his, within his forehead, he meditates. But what is this? What broke his meditation? Ah, I know. It is the tinkling conch shell ornaments of a young girl fetching water. <laughs> He's only staging a play to fill his stomach. He goes further and he says, Ah, this looks like a renowned soul. He must be a pilgrim coming from the holy places. I see he's talking to himself, although I went to Haridwar, Gaya, Prayag, Mathura, Benares, Pushkara, Sriranga, Ayodhya, Badri Kashrama, Setu Bandha, Prabhasa, and many other places three or four times over in the past year. What would persons like us accomplish even in hundreds of years like this? He further, further goes on, he goes further on and says, This must be a genuine ascetic. But I see that he is actually worse and more sinful than above Fido renunciation, calling out, Hmm, 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 in a sharp, bitter voice, keeping the crowd away with a cruel stage stare, lifting his feet high as he walks with long strides his forehead, arms, neck, stomach and chest smeared with clay and grasping kusha grass in his hand, he is like pride personified. Therefore, I understand that without pure devotional service to Lord Vishnu, expert meditation, samadhi, faith, scriptural study, good works, japa, austerity are like an actor's ex expert playing on stage. They are only different ways to fill an empty belly. O oh, Kali, well done, well done. You brought the entire earth under your rule. You drove away the control of the mind, control of the senses and all other virtues. You captured them and made them your slaves, working for your own profit. You uprooted the tree of religion, which had friendship with other virtue as its branches. In this situation, what can I do? Today, all over the world, I have seen disturbances born of irreligiosity and deviation of the mind and speech in pursuit of truth. But alas, when will I see the pure Vaishnava devotees who are engaged in Krishna Kirtan? Arriba! Who are decorated with tears and hair standing on end in love of God and who are equipoised with both internally and externally. Oh, Shainas. I don't know, it's mentioned in Chaitanya Chandra, they are not a... Alright. So, Haridas Thakur was going to Shantipur. So, Haridas Thakur was going to Shantipur to see Advaita Gosai. To see Advaita Gosai. And on the way, you can see the sorry situation of the world. So on the way you could see the sorry situation of the world. That all the India people were, which is supposed to be a spiritual place. All over the India people, which is supposed to be a spiritual place. They were, how they become materialistic. 
they had become materialistic under the control of kali under the control of kali and so are controlling their senses they are controlled by their senses instead of controlling the senses they are controlled by the senses shri chaitanya bhagavat adi kanda 16.309 বৈষ্ণব দর্শন বৈষ্ণব দর্শন সঙ্গলার্থ ভক্তরাজ হরিদাসের নবদ্বীপে আগম কতদিনে বৈষ্ণব দেখিতে ইচ্ছা করি আইলেন হরিদাস নবদ্বীপ পুরি আফটার ফিউ ডেজ ঠাকুর হরিদাস went to navadvip with a desire to associate with the vaishnavas there purport by his divine grace la bhakti siddhanta sarasvati thakur shila prabhupad in order to see the pure vaishnavas haridas thakur came to shri mayapur which is situated in navadvip gauda desha's center of education shri chaitanya bhagavat আদিকাণ্ড সিক্সটিন পয়েন্ট থ্রি হান্ড্রেড অ্যান্ড টেন ভক্ত প্রবর হরিদাসের দর্শনে ভক্তগণের হর্ষ আতিশর্য হরিদাসে দেখিয়া সকল ভক্তগণ হইলেন অতিশয় পরানন্দ মন অল দ্য ডিভোটিস অফ নবদ্বীপ দা ভক্তি সিদ্ধান্ত সরস্বতী ঠাকুর শ্রী প্রভাত সিং শিলা শ্রী হরিদাস ঠাকুর অল দ্য বৈষ্ণব ব্রাহ্মণাস অফ নবদ্বীপ বিকেম জুবিলেন্ট কনসিডার হিং হিম এ মেম্বার অফ দেয়ার ফ্যামিলি ফ্রম দিস উই ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্যাট দ্যাট দ্য নন ডিভোটি কমিউনিটি অফ নবদ্বীপ ডিড নট ফিল এনি হ্যাপিনেস অন দি অ্যারাইভেল অফ হরিদাস ঠাকুর শ্রী চৈতন্য ভাগবত আদি খন্ড হরিদাসের দর্শন সঙ্গ লাভে অদ্বৈত প্রভুর তাহাকে প্রাণ অধিক প্রিয় জ্ঞানে লালন আচার্য গোসাই হরিদাসের পাইয়া রাখিলেন প্রাণ হইতে অধিক করিয়া Upon obtaining the association of Harida Thakur upon obtaining the association of Harida Thakur Advaita uh, Acharya treated him as more dear Advaita, than his own life Advaita Acharya treated him as more dear as his own life then then his own life purport by purport by his divine grace ah, say, <laughs> this happens always yeah. having received shri haridas at shri mayapur navadvip shri hatvaita prabhu considered him more dear than his own life and maintained him with utmost care adai da chaya is saying Advaita Acharya is showing proper proper behavior of a Vaishnava the proper behavior of a Vaishnava 
although Advaita Acharya is the leader of the Brahmanas. Although Advaita Acharya is the leader of the Brahmanas. And Haridas Thakur was born in a non-Hindu family. And Haridas Thakur was born in a non-Hindu family. But because Haridas Thakur was a pure Vaishnava, Advaita Acharya received him and more dear than his own life. Advaita Acharya received him as to be more dear than his own life. Therefore, and treated him more dear. It shows how a pure Vaishnava is beyond any caste consideration. So this shows how a pure Vaishnava is beyond any caste consideration. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Adi Kanda 16.312 Vaishnav Ganer o Vaishnav Sesto Haridasher Parashparir Pati Sa Pranay Vyabhaar Sarva Vaishnavair Priti Haridas Prati Haridaso Karen Savare Bhakti Yati All the Vaishnavas Haridas Thakar Haridas Thakur Satsukhaid Vaidya. Okay. All the Vaishnavas showered their affection on Haridas Thakur and Haridas Thakur reciprocated with extreme devotion. With extreme devotion. So the Vaishnavas are naturally very affectionate towards Haridas Thakur. So the Vaishnavas, they are naturally very affectionate towards Haridas Thakur. And Haridas Thakur reciprocated their feelings. And Haridas Thakur reciprocated with their feelings. Okay. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Adi Kanda 16.313 Varaspar Pasundi Ganer Katukti Samalachana Pasundi Shakale Jata Dei Bakko Jala Onne Onne Sabe Taha Kohite Lagila They started to discuss They started to discuss Amongst themselves Amongst themselves The Burning offensive statements. The burning offensive statements of the of all the of the, all the atheists. Of all the atheists. Report by His Divine Grace Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Shri Prabhupada. Seeing the devotee Brahmanas' love for Haridas, the envious atheistic persons always shot arrows of envious words at them. Hearing about such statements, the devotees became. Oh, I don't hear, I don't hear that. The atheist. The atheist. Began to give. Uh, burning statements. Okay. Be- burning offensive statements. Began to give burning offensive statements. And the Vaishnavas were discussing of these. The Vaishnavas were discussing this amongst themselves. Amongst themselves. Chaitanya Bhagavat Adi Kanda 16.314 Bhaktagonair Nirantar Gita Bhagavat Anushilan Bichar Gita Bhagavat Eloi Sarva Bhaktagon Onne onne vichare thaken sarvakhan. The meaning of the topics okay. of Bhagavad Gita and Srim Bhagavad Gita. The devotees constantly discussed with each other the meaning of the topics of the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. 
purport by His Divine Grace Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Shri Prabhupada. At that time, persons who were intoxicated by material enjoyment would not study Vaishnava literatures like Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Rather, they were constantly engaged in gratifying their senses. But the pure devotees always increased their ecstatic love by discussing Gita and Bhagavat among themselves. Not being intoxicated by artificial worldly material rasas like the Prakrita Sahajyas. The devotees of the Lord discussed the conclusive statements of Vaishnava literatures like Gita and Bhagavat while conducting Hishta Goshtis in this way. They desired the highest eternal benefit for the entire world. So the materialist, so the materialist considering themselves the body considering themselves the bodies are absorbed in trying to get bodily happiness. Were absorbed in trying to get bodily happiness. All the Vaishnavas they are discussing the transcendental activities of the Supreme Version I got it. But the Vaishnavas were discussing the transcendental activities of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As described in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. As described in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Not being very interested in the materialistic goals of life. Not being very interested in the materialistic goals of life. Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat Adikanda 16.315 Bhaktaraj Haridasher Kata Sravan Kirtane Gaur Dham Pakti Jejane Paraye Shonaye Shavakhan Tahare Milive Gaur Chandra Bhagavan Ah, uh, Sri will attain of the Supreme Lord. Well, attain the Supreme Lord, Sri Gaurachandra. One who reads or hears these topics will obtain the sup- will attain the Supreme Lord, Sri Gaurachandra. So, this, now the dham, where Lord Chaitanya appeared. This Navadip dham, where Lord Chaitanya appeared. He changed the whole environment. He changed the whole environment. Gradually. Gradually. And got everyone to chant the holy names. And got everyone to chant the holy names. Then he... Had his mercy on the rest of India. And then he gave his mercy on rest of rest of India. And he took sannyas to give out his mercy everywhere. And he took sannyas to give out his mercy everywhere. Thus ends part four of the chapter entitled Gopal Chakravarti Offense Haridas Thakur and is attacked by leprosy under the section the glories of Srila Haridas Thakur. Thank you for watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day and don't forget to like and share our channel.